appeal to nature. What's the problem? It's all natural. So is violence. Have a look at nature. It's full of cruelty and violence. Killing, death. So, I am justifying my actions because it's my natural tendency, my survival instinct. I didn't have any choice. But the law depends on you having free will. Although science, in a general sense, hard science, tends to think free will is an illusion. And we don't ask for free will. We just think we have. But it's almost impossible to prove. Determinism is very easy to prove. Where you're not getting any choice. But trying to prove that you're actually free. Almost impossible. Which means that the law saying you must have free will, otherwise you're not responsible for your actions, goes, is diametrically opposed to what scientific studies show that, in actual fact, everything is determined, including our own thoughts, our biology, all these sort of things, right from the word go. We get these dichotomies in terms of black and white arguments. It's either this or that. You're either my friend or my foe. You're either with us or you're the enemy. This then justifies any type of action. As Voltaire said in the 14th or 15th century, if you can convince someone of an absurdity, then you can make them commit an atrocity. These are very bad people, which means we're allowed to use enhanced interrogation techniques for the greater good. You mean it's okay to torture people? Or just simply drop a bomb on top of the head? Why? Because it's for the greater good. Um, science or religion? It has to be one or the other. No, it doesn't. It could be neither. It's a false choice. Hobson's choice. Take it or leave it. Equivocation. That's when you're using words and changing the meaning of them in order to confuse or deceive. The law of nature says this, therefore I don't have to do that. Even though the law of the land might say, I'm oh, sorry but you have to do this or comply, and you say, I'm appealing to the law of nature, or natural law. Yes, but that doesn't count legally. And uh, what about the law of gravity? Well, that's a scientific principle. It's not actually a legal requirement. I remember a good few years ago, someone claimed... This man claimed he was Elvis. And uh, simply because he believed he was Elvis. And he said that no one can prove that he's not Elvis. Therefore, that means I am Elvis 
because so far no one's proven that I'm not Elvis. And I am Elvis, and I believe it to be the case. <laughs>